Okay, on the Corvette, the 69 vet, not a lot looks different. However, Shannon has gotten it down through all the layers on the sides here and uh, gotten it where he wants it on the side. So the next thing to do will be to remove these tops, which haven't, you know, are still painted. Get down and do this upper part of the car and then, you know, get all of that stripped. And then I think he said maybe later today he's going to pull these headlight buckets out. Well, we're, we're going to widen up the gaps, make them even all the yep. way around. Yep. Same thing we'll do with the doors. Yep. So we'll make the gaps nice and true. So commonly known as gapping, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we'll see more next time. Okay, guys. These are Corvette parts that I've cleaned up and I'm storing them in the trunk of my 69 Dodge Coronet. Beauty rings, uh, hub covers, these are the mufflers and tailpipes, and the uh, T-top bags. So I got them cleaned, just keeping them in here to keep the dust off of them. And stand by a second. Okay, up here I've cleaned the tires, wheels, front and back. I've got them stacked here with a towel over them to keep the dust out. So they're all all four done. Like I said, front and back. They look good. I also got my front and side marker lights done. Uh, there's some overspray that you can see on the white one, so I may order new lenses for that. We'll see how it goes. But that's just one more thing done, and now I'm out in the garage getting ready to go through the rest of the takeoff parts and see what needs to be cleaned. I'm out at Shannon's today, and the goal is to get these taillight buckets out. And we're going to de-trim. We're going to take out the antenna. We're going to take out the door locks, the latch. The mirrors will be coming off on both sides. <clears throat> and once that's done, <clears throat> uh, the door cards are going to be coming off. Well, actually, they'll probably have to come off first to get to some of this hardware that holds the latch on and all that. So that's what, and then we'll have the T-tops off and the back window out after a while so that's the goal for today we'll see how close we get okay guys i've been here about an hour and we got these out finally so those are done we're bagging and tagging and then while i'm down here on the creeper i'm going to go ahead and start work on the antenna from underneath and see if we can get it removed Okay guys, it's about 11.15, I've got to go. As you can see, the security team is guarding my Corvette right there. So, got these tail light buckets out. I think I mentioned that before. Right here, the antenna bezel and everything is out. Door cards are off both doors. Here's one. There's the other one, door cards are in my truck. On this door, we got the handle and the lockout, and I'm going to have to come back and do the other side, but I'm telling you, in my opinion, this is a big pain in the ass, but it has to be done. So anyway, we got about 90% of what I wanted to get done, done. So I guess that's it for today. I'll talk to Shannon and see when I can come out again. Take care, guys. Okay guys, I'm out at Shannon's shop again today. It's May 2nd. My big mission today, at least to start with, is to get the door latch and lock out of the driver's side. So I'm going to start on that, and then once that's done, I'll check in with Shannon and see what else he has for me to do. So let's see how this goes. It's a real pain, I'll tell you that. Okay guys, as you can see, this is a driver door. I got the latch and lockout. I've got it over here bagged and tagged. There we go. A couple other things Shannon had me do, I'll take you to the other side. This is what is called a door felt molding. And I'll show you where it goes. Here's the door, and it goes here in the door. Let me turn it around. 
it goes here in the door like this, you know, for a felt on each side of your window. So you had me take these off as well as the door weather stripping. I'm going to leave this sitting here until I mark it. Here's the one from the passenger side. These came off with a uh, screw on each end. One there and one down there. And then you have to pinch them close to you, you know, like you're gripping something. And it's you have to use a lot of finger strength to get that off. But anyway, I went ahead and took the door molding off that starts here, goes down along here, all the way around the bottom of the door, comes up on this side, down here, and then all the way up, and there's, a, there's one screw here, there are two more right there, those two screws, so one here at the top, two as you go down the side, and then all the way around on the other side, there's another one right there, right there. So four screws to get the weather strip off and two screws each for the uh, felt moldings. So anyway, I'm going to go find out what else Shannon wants me to do right now. We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, on those uh, felt moldings, I just wanted to show you this. They have these little bumps that go into a hole and lock. That's why you have to grip them to pull them out of those holes and get, get this out of the car. So anyway, just wanted to show you what it looked like. Just grip and pull and, and you know, just finger strength and, and you'll, you'll get them out. Okay, uh, I don't have too much longer out here. I think we're about out of things for me to do. Um, what we did end up doing was I also took the sill plates off, as you can see here. And over there, same thing. T-tops are off, as you can see. So the whole car is starting to look a little bit different now. We'll shut the door here. And we're going to blow it out and then cover the interior. We took these little moldings off here as well. They go right up here by the windshield, one on the other side. So those are off. And then, uh, like I said, we're going to blow it out, uh, cover the interior, and go from there. I think I told you last time I took the back window out. That was a lot easier than I thought. It, I heard stories, but I'd never taken it out. It came out in about 20 seconds. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to finish for today. We'll see what Shannon says. He'll be right back. So for now, we I mentioned we took off the T-tops. They're sitting on the table here, and you know they'll be able to be worked on separately. But we'll uh, deal with that when the time comes. This uh, molding that goes around, well, you can see the other one better. It goes around that side. It can be a pain to get off and on, so Shannon's going to probably handle that. Anyway, like I said, I think we're about done for today. Thank you for watching. Okay, okay, one last thing, one last thing for this video. I just wanted you to see my stable mate today. <clears throat> we have the body off of the 68 Corvette sitting in the next stall from my 69 Corvette. So it's a Corvette day out here at Schreier's Customs. Thought you guys might enjoy that. Okay, me and this uh, security team just had a strategy meeting and uh, they're going to lead me to it here. So I'm going to work on the back today. Shannon said he drilled holes for my letters because somebody painted that Corvette or, you know, it's gold leaf, 427. Um, it's supposed to have letters, so I have the letters and he drilled the holes for them. Um, I'm going to try to stay away from this curve right here. It, it, it's real easy to make a mistake, but Shannon said I can, you know, probably come down to about here and uh, do this top and same thing on the other side and then I'll do you know around the door lock area here since we have those off now on both sides and then it's possible I think 
I think Shannon has already sanded the T-tops. I think I saw them in the other shop. Hang on, let me go look. Okay guys, I don't know exactly where the T-tops are. I'm sure they're here somewhere. So if I have time, I'll get to those. But anyway, um, he's got 40 grit paper on the DA sander here, which is what I'm gonna use. And then the air hose is right there. So I'm gonna get to it. It is a little after four. So I'm gonna clean up and head for the barn. Been up since four o'clock this morning. There's Tilly. She's waiting for something that I give them when I leave. You're a good girl, you're a good girl. Okay, so we talked about getting the area sanded where the door locks were. Well, I got those out and have sanded this area down. Then this whole area here, you know, the back window area. This is where the back window goes right here. So this is all sanded. And I left this little bit here because I didn't want to get in there and dig in and, you know, cause some kind of a problem. Also, I did the back right here. I did not get too close to the tail light holes because Shannon told me don't do that because I could easily gouge into the fiberglass and cause a problem. So I got the mostly flat spots that I could do. So that one is done. Uh, also on this side, got this area done here. Got a little bit closer on the inside here. I moved in probably two inches and got it a little bit closer. Shannon's gonna do the rest there. I'm trying to get around dogs here. And then here's the other side of the back window right there. Got it done over to the fender here. And then again, there's a little strip of paint left in here that I didn't want to get into and cause some kind of a problem. But anyway, that took me about three hours. Yeah, I did stop and have a little break for a minute, but still, this is not easy. There's like three or four coats of clear, three or four coats of the black, and then a couple of coats of primer on here. So, you know, that's somewhere around eight to 10 coats of material that you have to sand off. So anyway, I think I'm done for today. I'm gonna head out, miss the old girl, but she's here for a good reason. So let's get back a little bit, there we go. There she is, my 1969 427 four-speed Corvette. And I hate it when that happens. And it will be, I believe it is Inca Silver here in another month or two. Anyway, thanks for watching.